It's been a very busy year, 2023, hasn't it? Goodness me. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. You'll have to have a look at that later on. It's very busy and 2024 is probably going to be equally as busy. But we have a few changes to share with you and a few updates to go through. So bear with me as we talk about what's in store for us in 2024. Everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for another Precious Metal Ramble. 2023, basically gone in a flash. Where did it go? I could not possibly tell you. It has been a very busy year for the world of gold, silver and platinum. Precious metals have been manic this year and for me personally and professionally it has been a very busy year with over a million dollars sold on the new business venture that is the Backyard Bullion Buyers Club and the poured silver side of our business being manic as ever. It's it's surprising considering how the world is right now with the cost of living and everything. It has been a busy old year. So I have a few updates to share with you, not least the fact that we're working on some absolutely incredible chess pieces and I have a little sneak peek as to why this particular chess set is going to be the best that we've ever done and there's a little sneak peek in here for the back end of the video for you backyard bullion ramblers to have a good old look at. So stick around to the end. I know it's not necessarily going to be the most uh, exciting and fun and sexy video today just talking about a few life updates but I know a lot of you get a lot of um, so I guess satisfaction from knowing how I am and how I'm doing which is in itself quite weird and humbling I guess and that's where I really kind of want to start <clears throat> I've been doing YouTube now for, uh, gosh, when is it? To July 16, so 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 22, 22, 22, seven and a half years now, which is bonkers. And um, that's a long time to be doing YouTube and consistently putting out videos. I've been doing three or four videos a week. I started at four and I actually cut it down to three. And now I've gone back seemingly up to four somewhat. There are more videos uh, coming out of me moaning about the raw mint and amongst other things. So, um, yeah, it's busy and I enjoy YouTube. I have really enjoyed YouTube in this last two weeks. Um, having had a break from the Buyers Club, it has given me a bit more time to focus on some of those other things that I enjoy, the YouTube side of things. But it is a lot of work. It's a lot of work to consistently come up with content three or four times a week. And as such, I had an idea a few weeks ago whereby we would have some guest uh, speakers on our channel and it seemed to be kind of well received in the comment section a lot of people were interested in that and what I would like it to be is is not something uh, where we get the big boys in we don't want um, the likes of Yankee Stack and Silver Dragons to take over the channel for a bit there's no point I mean they have way more subscribers than me to begin with what I want it to be is an opportunity for small creators to be able to have their content put it up on my channel maybe get exposure to some additional subscribers that they would not already have um, and I think that's a pretty cool idea and I know a bunch of little creators have already uh, reached out to me uh, which is really very cool indeed so consider this the official kind of uh, what's the word announcement then that that is going to happen uh, but fear not need not worry about our channel we will be doing one video a week as a guest spot um, I don't know exactly when it's going to start. It'll depend on when we start getting kind of the content uh, content in, I suppose, from people. But I would like to have enough content such that we can do like a little mini series of it. So um, four, five or six weeks, depending on how many creators are keen and interested and want to join in, basically. And then the idea is a video on a Sunday will be devoted over to one of these community uh, guest speakers, which I think will be quite interesting. It'll be giving me a break, which is an important thing. So what um, a lot of people don't necessarily understand about YouTube is that it's like a, it's a bit of a grind. You have to keep going. And, you know, a lot of people look at my channel and other channels and go, oh, you've got 55,000 subscribers. That's incredible. You've done so well. You've, you've worked so hard on that. And yes, the answer is I, I have worked hard on that. And anybody has to work hard on it. You have to consistently grind. I recently shared a little graph on my channel uh, community tab where we just breached 10 million views. That's mad. 10 million views is a big old number. And if you look at that graph, you can see for the first sort of year and a half, it's just like tiny, tiny numbers, little bits. And then suddenly you get a video that goes a bit, bit mad. Um, if you just put in that work, that time, if you have the ability to increase the quality of your productions, better cameras, better microphone, better lighting, that kind of thing, um, it will end up paying you dividends in that uh, sort of return. Um, so yeah, it's a hard, hard job. So the ability to have 
even just an additional day where I don't really have to worry about thinking of a topic, researching a topic, finding a topic, talking about a topic, and filming it and editing it. Although there still will be a little bit of editing when it comes to these things. I think it's going to be a good thing. And it's a nice way to kind of give back to the community, share some of those subscribers. But don't worry, it's not going to be... It, I want it to be the same kind of like ethos as myself. I don't want it to be, um, you know, fear-driven, uh, shoot-the-moon type channels. I want it to be level-headed, down-to-earth, uh, coin fun channels and have a little bit of a range of different um, you know different opinions on there so be good to hear from you if you're a creator I know a few creators have already reached out but if you would like to get involved then let me know and we can uh, get in touch together and there's an email address down in the description box below and we can then uh, link up and work it all out so I think that's going to be really cool so yes that is the sort of update when it comes to YouTube um, another quick uh, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel through these 10 million views, whether you've been watching right from the beginning or you've joined recently. Uh, I mean, 10 million views is just a bonkers number. Um, you know, a lot of people put a lot of stock into subscriber counts, but view counts are equally as pretty cool and impressive. And I do want to give as well a great, very quick personal shout out to a good friend of mine. Uh, Empire Precious Metals, who recently hit 6 million subscribers pretty much on the same day that I hit 10 mil. Um, I know he's... He, like me, has grinded every single week for his YouTube. And it is really, really satisfying to see it finally paying off for him. I remember having conversations with him. Uh, he was getting somewhat... Um, I, I hope he won't mind me saying, but he was getting a little bit downhearted sometimes that he put a lot of effort into creating these bits of content that he was very proud of and thought they were really good and then they'd get next to no views and the YouTube algorithm is just what it is. But it's really great to see his channel thriving and I take inspiration from him even to this day. So a big thank you to all of his support that he's uh, yielded out to me. Anyway, look, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked by, by Stormy. Great channel. Go and check him out if you've not heard of him before. Um, now, in terms of 2024, a little update for you all there. So uh, first update is going to be the Bullion Bias Club. Let's talk about that. Um, in fact, let me get some bullion out on the table to talk about. This is my own bullion. Um, we have uh, had a busy year for bullion and what i've learned a lot from that year is that i have i i have i have only so much time i've only got so much time in my life and i can't devote as much time as i would like to all the ventures that i want to do so the bullion buyers club will happen again but what i would like for it to do is not have um as fast a turnaround time so what i've been trying to do before is basically get things in and out on the same day. And that's very disruptive for um, things like pouring silver, doing other bits of content creation for YouTube, um, and just general day-to-day -day life. It's very disruptive. So the general idea will be, um, if people want to look to sell things, I will get them to send it in on a particular week of a month, and then we will have um, a big batch of silver and gold perhaps go out over the course of one particular week in a month. That way, I will get, you know, we'll have a large volume of stuff go in and out, but it will be controlled. There will be better situations for me to do that. The only negative advantage of this is that it will somewhat restrict the ability for people to have that super liquidity. Um, I am not going to be completely rigid on that. There will be times when I'm less busy with other things going on, so I would be able to be flexible. But that is my sort of working hypothesis to really kind of control it a little bit better because. Reflecting on this last year, the biggest problem really was um, victim of my own success. Too much going on, too had ad hoc a way, um, and it was not sustainable. It was too, too much, too much to handle. So um, that's the general idea. Great to hear a bit of your feedback on that, if you would um, be so kind. If you are in the Backyard Bullion Buyers Club and you know what I'm talking about, then let me know what you think that would is that good is that bad i think it would be okay it certainly would be manageable from my side but i get that there are some negatives from that it's not definitive but we might we'll be going down that road um when it will start again i have not got an exact date um i want to uh at least work out a full sort of action plan going forwards for it which means that there's a very good chance it won't start until mid to late february and there's a few reasons for that. We've got some personal stuff going on in January. I'm going to Berlin in the end of January, early February for like five days um, to 
the Berlin Money Fair, which is going to be incredible. We're meeting a whole bunch of different mints and sponsors, and there should be some really interesting content that's going to come out from that trip. And we're also meeting some content creators out there as well, which is going to be absolutely incredible. So I have no doubt that's going to be a very busy time. And then coming back uh, February, there's other things going on in my life that I need to be um, you know, devoting some time to. So I would imagine our, um, our Bullion Buyers Club will be back end of February. That's the general idea. So apologies for anyone waiting to buy or sell. That's just the way it is. And a big thank you to everyone who's already been in touch to, you know, say good things, really. Um, you know, there's a few people who, who've who been in touch to, uh, you know, ask to sell. And I've just, li- I've, I've, I'd love to help you, but I've literally just had to go back and say, sorry, having a break. And I'm enjoying that break. That's really important to say. Last update then, poured silver side of things. Uh, we have, as you can see, some chess sets here that we're working on. Um, so this is another reason why I needed to take a bit of a back step from all of the crazy bullion selling side of things because I have two huge projects which I'm trying to work on. Now for you backyard bullion ramblers, here is a real little treat for you. We've done chess sets before um, and Dad has made the most incredible boards. He has gone far beyond how good the first ones were. They've made some incredible new boards for this incredible new set, which is going to be gold versus silver, but it's not solid gold. That would be ridiculous. That's a quarter of a million pounds worth of gold. But I'm playing around with some gold plating, and this is the first result for a very thin coat of plating. I've been working with the Edinburgh Assay Office to uh, make sure that we're all above board when it comes to uh, actually plating hallmarked bits of silver or plating in fact before hallmarking which is also a possibility and um, it's certainly going well this is just a first uh, thin plate of gold and we can go significantly thicker on this with another couple of coats if needed uh, but it's looking really good straight off the bat the lighting isn't phenomenal in my workroom today it's a really dark gloomy day um, but it looks really good and this, this is just a junk piece because it's a little bit um wonky although the camera's not really showing it but it it's all bent you can see there um so yeah bit of a prototype piece but oh it's really coming together uh and it's not just a single chess set either there's like huge amounts going on here so i do want to reach out to my customer and just give a real personal thanks for the opportunity to make this because i've kind of always wanted to do gold versus silver and uh, to have this actually coming to fruition is going to be an incredible sight if i do say so myself don't know when that's all going to be finished it's probably going to be i would think mid-january late no not mid-january mid-february early march may i don't know it could be later on in the year but it's busy we're, we're working away on them and um that's the main sort of focus right now but then of course the whole merry-go-round that is back up bullion poured silver starts again and we've got 2024 products to look at and uh, start creating so forum products this year quick update for you on those they're all gone everything is gone now which is fantastic it's definitely been a slower year i'm not going to hide around that and i think anybody any poured silver producer or any premium product producer right now that just goes yeah it's been an easy year and everything is just hunky dory and nothing to worry about here um is either incredibly fortunate or flat out misleading you because it has been a tough year for any producer of anything premium and this year, I've definitely noticed a drop back in the uh, in the sort of pre-sale side of my project releases. Normally, we would have them all reserved and um, you know, pre-orders taking up everyone's basically allocation. So um, this year, not so much, but people still want to buy it. People still want to buy it when we put it up on the website and it goes. So there is still a really buoyant market for those kind of things and we will continue to produce them same vintages for 2024 but more on that in another video at another time i just want to say a huge heartfelt thank you to everybody who has bought some of our poured silver this year and um, going forwards into 2024 the focus is the chess sets so unless you've got like the most incredible special occasion type piece that you want me to make um, I'm not really taking any other big commissions and if it's a big commission like a chess set for example it's going to have to wait it's going to have to be pushed back um, but yeah exciting times so that's where we are I just want to finish this video by um, reaching out to my backyard bully and ramblers the super cool extra kids club wait I said that wrong I mean you are super extra cool in, a, in that extra kind of special way but you guys um, you, you mean the world to me um, I know that a lot of you out there will watch to the end of the videos and have and do ask about how I'm doing post um, 
oh, it, was, it was close to a burnout. It wasn't a burnout from everything, but it was a burnout from the selling bullying side of things. I'm great. I'm loving my break. I have absolutely... Do you know, finding just an afternoon to go and chop some wood, you know, it's, it's the best thing ever. Finding an afternoon just where you don't have something pressing, you don't have to package 20 items, just go and walk the dogs. Bloody amazing. So, or having a weekend to yourself for a change, to your family, that's that's nice. So I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm great. Don't worry about me. Thank you for being spotted as a super special extra and we'll see you on the next video. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.